Hi, I'm Dave Milton and today we're going to have a quick overview on the wobble sticks that we sell. Today we'll have a look at the wobble sticks we sell which will be the WS series and the MH series. Uh, we'll go through the features of each one just as a quick overview so you can see what they are. On the table we have the six versions of wobble stick we sell. Uh, the basic is the WS20. Then we do the WS series, which is just a push, pull and angler. Then the next one may look similar to this, but this is a hollow drive. We call this a WSH. Then we have the disc style pickup, uh, which is this one, which we call the WSPG. Then we have the first of the flag style pickups, uh, which is this one, which is a ZWS. And then the last one is a mechanical hand. Uh, this one just gives you some secondary rotation. First one we'll look at is the ZWS20. Uh, this is a very basic wobble stick. As you can see, there's no mechanism inside to actually guide this. This is just a stick that you simply pull in and out. Uh, we do sell quite a lot of these, so it is quite a popular stick. Uh, this has 20 millimeters of movement and comes on a 70 millimeter OD flange, and the shaft size is 6.35. The next one is the conventional wobble stick, which is the WS version. Uh, this one has a hole in the end, so you can put a shaft inside. Uh, the hole size is 5mm, which you can put into this. Um, the stick has four lengths it comes into, so the linear travel is 80mm, 151mm, 237mm and 280mm. This is angular movement and also linear movement and there's also a lock on this so once you've uh, done your experiment or what you're doing with this you can lock the stick so it holds it in position so the vacuum doesn't pull it in. Now the next one we have is the WH on the table here which may look like the conventional wobble stick but as I mentioned this is a hollow drive. If you look at the end this has a flange on the end which is the 34mm mini flange on the end 70mm main flange, has the same locking mechanism as the conventional one and comes in the same lengths as it, which is the 80, 151, 237 and 280. The wobble stick is basically exactly the same as the conventional. Uh, the next one we have is the WSPG, which is a pincer grip wobble stick. Uh, the pincer grip on the end is just operated via this button so when you push the button in it operates the jaws. Uh, this has four presets on it which have to be set prior to it going in the system unless you've got another wobble stick in the system where you can knock this round. Uh, it's again it's similar to the conventional wobble stick uh, the sizes again are 80, 151, 237 and 280. Uh, the part on here is just to for transit purposes but the wobble stick operates the same with the angular movement and the linear movement. Now the most popular versions we now sell are flag style and this is a flag style pickup. Uh, what's actually fitted to this is the perpendicular version and we also do an inline version which is this one and these are detailed on the ends of the jaws so that these will pick up a flag style sample. Uh, it operates exactly the same as the conventional one with its linear and angular movement and you have a handle on this one, a finger handle, that you can push to operate the jaws. Uh, this works in the same way except for it's uh, an inline version. So the top of the range is the MH version which is a mechanical hand. Uh, this one has a pincer grip that operates the jaws. The jaws will be fitted on the end here but this is just to show how it operates. When you squeeze the handle you can see the rod moving in and out. This will operate the jaws on the end. Uh, the advantage of this is also got rotation so you can actually turn the jaws through 360 degrees. Again, this is just a transit bracket on there, but it has a similar movement. Uh, the jaws that are fitted on here are the perpendicular, which is 33mm, and we also do the inline, which will add 47mm to the length of travels, which are the same as the other ones, which are 80, 151, 237 and 280. 
Hope you found this video interesting. It was just a quick overview on the wobble sticks and we're going to look at these in more depth in later videos that we do. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.